Like a lot of people, I think it's getting to spend time with our family. When the pandemic first started and we naively thought this would only last for a couple of weeks, it made me realize just how hectic my life was because it caused us to pause and the only people I had access to were the four members of my family. And we had a wonderful time and I have two young girls, age eight and six, and they would get into all sorts of inventive, creative uh, playtimes. They, they got all these boxes and they started making Barbie doll houses and they would get more and more elaborate. They would get a wrapping paper to do wallpaper. They'd create bedrooms and bathrooms and then they would get tired of that activity and they'd move on to something else and uh, trying to make a tunnel system with these cardboard boxes. So it was a lot of fun playing with the kids. and. It, that, that's carried on as well throughout. Although they've gone back to school, we still have that extra time where I wouldn't be rushing out the uh, door first thing in the morning to get to the office. I'm able to pick them up every day at 3.30 rather than sending them to aftercare and picking them up at six o'clock. So we just have a lot more time to devote to them and to uh, nurture them and enjoy their growth. Uh, I haven't really learned a new hobby, but I've more devoted myself to leisure activities I, I didn't spend as much time with as I did before. One of the things I really enjoy doing is going for a walk in the early afternoon. And there's some woods near my house, so I've been able to go there every day. And because the pandemic has lasted so long, I've been able to really appreciate the change of the seasons because when this started it was winter time and there was snow on the ground there was no leaves and so i've seen the woods have those first buds of spring blossom into green forest and seen how the leaves change and become this glorious orange and red and yellow uh, blizzard of colors and now there's no leaves there anymore. It's become quite stark. And but with the iPhone, you can regularly take pictures and document that change. And so it's quite uh, amazing to see that and, and have the acute appreciation of it. And as well, spend some time, you know, just not only thinking, but also listening to podcasts as you walk along. Because we have an incredible resource now and that there's this access to a plethora of podcasts. You can find the one that best suits your views and your interests and your attitudes and really use that time in a more in-depth way. Every day is the same. Um, I need a vacation, <laughs> um, but I'm not about to get a vacation. <laughs> um, and, and that's really the hardest part is that every day feels very, very much the same. Uh, it can be hard to have structure in your day when there is no structure. Um, and I, you know, I'm a working lawyer. Things have to get done. Uh, deadlines have to be met. And it can be challenging in the sense that, you know, when I first get up in the morning, we have to get the girls to school. So there's a rush in the morning. And then by the time you get back, you feel like you need a rest from that, but your day's really starting. Uh, and the other thing is keeping, uh, trying to compartmentalize work days because otherwise you end up working on the weekend and literally every day feels the same. And, uh, and I think you get into an element of work starts, you have a diminishing return. You're working every day, but you don't tend to accomplish as much if you just focused your time a bit more. Mm -hmm. But that, that, that's the challenge to do in a pandemic because every day is the same. Uh, yes, two shows that I've binge watched. One is called Community. I never watched the show when it was on, but I always heard that it was funny. And it, watching stuff on Netflix is amazing because you can watch one show every night and there's no commercial, so it's much faster. And I was amazed. It's really, really funny. It's very self, it's a sitcom. It's trapped within the conventions of a sitcom, but it's very aware of itself as a sitcom. And that enables it to be much, much funnier. And it pokes fun of the fact of, you know, everything that makes a sitcom a sitcom. So I, I found that really engaging. And the other show I really enjoyed and I actually went back and re-watched was BoJack Horseman. And that's a show most people haven't heard of. And it is a cartoon, so I think people aren't attracted to cartoons. As an adult, they don't want to watch animation. But because it's animation, they can be much more outrageous, much more unapologetic, and ultimately a lot funnier. And they're unafraid to take on topics about depression, um, about uh, responsibility, and it's really an engaging, interesting show that you have to give it a chance.